In Power Mill 2015, there are two enhancements made to the Vortex roughing strategy. The first of this is the improvement of efficiency when machining flat areas. We can now approach from outside the stock on flat areas. A flat section is extended until it reaches somewhere which has already been machined. This removes the need for entry moves and helical ramp moves such as we can see in this example here. If the flat slice has an outside edge from which we can approach from, if the approach does not gouge the model, and if it is wide enough to survive profile smoothing, we will approach from outside the stock. There is no user interface changes made to this, it is just a behind the scenes fix for the Vortex roughing toolpath. So if I activate my second toolpath here, we will now see that the entry ramp moves have been replaced by extended cutting moves. This reduces the machining time and makes the toolpath generally more efficient. The second improvement made to Vortex is the ability to control how the tool moves during non-cutting moves in the toolpath. There are two ways to control these non-cutting moves. That is for very long trochoids or links, we can lift and move at rapid. Or for normal sized trochoids, we can move at a higher feed rate without lifting. So to do this, there are two new controls. That is the non-cutting feed rate and also the maximum link length. So if I open up my strategy like so, I can then go to the Vortex page and we can see we have the two new options here. So the first one is to activate the increased feed rate for non-cutting moves. This is defaulted to twice the cutting feed rate However, you can put in any value you like. The second option is to tell Paramill to uh, retract on non-cutting moves, depending on the length of the link move. So we can set it to never retract, automatically retract, and in this instance, a value is read only, or else we can set it to longer than, where we give the length of the link move which is the cutoff point from where it will retract from. If the trochoid or link move is very long and beyond the maximum link length, then it is simply removed and the lift is put in instead. Once we have, um, once we have inputted our settings and calculated the toolpath, we will then get a toolpath where in this view, the red sections signify an increase in the feed rate. I have the drawing options of draw feeds on. If I turn it off, you can see that the toolpath looks the same, but turning back on, uh, the information dialog box will pop up and we can see that the reds signify our non-cutting move feed rate, which was at 10,000. So, uh, increased efficiency over flat areas and then uh, the ability to control our feed rate for non-coding moves uh, are the two main improvements made to Vortex roofing strategy in Paramill 2014.